Welcome to Q Corner. And it's all about the Chrome. About the Chrome. It's back! Chrome is back for this special. Why we not change the song? Please? Because it's all about the Chrome Dong. I get that, but that soundtrack. I know it's been going in all of your minds out there as well. That's, I've uh, even been had it on. sung to me in a, in a recent training day. We get today. messages because it's all about the Chrome. It is all about the Chrome. It is. So, on that note, let's talk about the Chrome. Let's, in, indeed, what we've got is um, when we did the Chrome back a few months ago now. Oh, many, many what weeks. We got, uh, what we got, we're in May now, so that's all the way back in January. Um, when we first did the Chrome, we inflated um, some balloons, we did the double stuff and techniques, showing you some of the new colours. And then what we did was we put them in one of the Qualitex.com bags. We put them out the way. Because you did want to see how long they would last before they oxidise and what they look like after a bit of time. So we have them here. And we thought we'd share the results with you. So these are the ones that we did back in January. We opened them back up and let's just have a look at the chrome ones themselves. So we have the blue chrome. It's still looking nice. That bag has been uh, has protected it. Obviously these were air filled. Um, Otherwise, they wouldn't last this long at all. But the beautiful mauve. We have the mauve, and do we? I don't have a green one here. I don't think we have the green one by itself. I don't know if we had green right at the beginning. That's right. Yeah, we were really short on green, so I don't know if we had it. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So um, these well, ones can yeah. go now. So that's blue, and the mauve we did really well. Yeah. Yay! And then, but we did some double stuffing as well. Absolutely. So we have. This one? Oh, yeah, so this is the silver in the um, dual emerald green. Yeah. Which and is that beautiful colour. And silver with the dual lime green. Which is, obviously, that's my preferred green. It's really nice. And then we did it with the we did smaller one with the teal. Yeah. So we have the three different greens on there. And they still look really shiny. I do. I mean, again, it doesn't always show on camera, but. That, that colour still pops. Yeah, it does. Yeah. You can't see it pops with the balloon, though. So. Yeah, so teal, emerald green. What else have we got in here? Oh, one of my favourite ones. Mm. It's the yellow. Oh, it's starting to look a little bit cloudy there, but it is a few yeah. months. And it is somewhat under as well. Yeah. Still looks nice. Ooh. The yellow. So it's um, dual citrine yellow uh, over the chrome silver. Oh. Yeah, beautiful colour. What's purple yep. with the silver inside? Again, the the, the depth of colour and the and the shine on that is fantastic. And a sapphire blue. What oh, nip with ourselves today? Yes, uh, absolutely. Good colour choice there. And um, sapphire blue, and that still looking good. Yeah. All, all, all these months. Love that colour mix. We have got um, burgundy. Yes, yeah, yeah, burgundy, sparkling burgundy. So this is the um, five inch sparkling burgundy, but with the eleven inch chrome silver inside. And this is the dual magenta. Yes. And that is the mandarin orange, which is a beautiful rich I colour. Think it is as well. Yeah. I think that'd be. I haven't tried it over the gold, but I think over the gold it would like it'd be a burnished gold almost. Well, or uh, uh, a burnt orange. Even, um, sorry. Sue at Spring Fair in February did. The gold in the citrine yellow as well, which added another kind of a uh, yeah. Different. I did that one over in Spain as well because it gives the colours for the Spanish uh, football team when I want to do it with the red and the so the um, dual ruby red, so the ruby oh, red cool. over the uh, over the silver. Okay. And then that one with that gives yeah. you a really nice gold. It's just a subtle difference, but it does make um, a big difference when you're trying to achieve a certain product. Speaking of ruby red. Ta -da. So these were the five inch ones as well, yeah. still looking good. And the last one that we did, which was the print, yeah. um, was the, uh, what's that? It's silver. silver over the ruby red with the gold print on the Which is a lovely mix. Lovely. So they've survived remarkably well. Very well, very well. I think they've done very well. I think that last till Valentine's Day next year. I don't know. We're not keeping it now. It's been it's been in the corner of the studio for the last uh, too long. Let's make some space. Yeah, we're going to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of this. Oh, catch! I know what a catch over cool. there. There we go. And that's is that all of them? It is. That's it all is. of them. So that's why we use. That's why we bag our balloons, guys. It protects them. So that's no balloon shine at no, all. No balloon Just shine. Just a bag to look after them. No high float. Which is great for when you're doing prep work, when you want to prepare yourself for a busy weekend coming up. You can do a lot of the air filled work earlier 
and then have it bagged up, ready to go to finish off for your busy weekend ahead. Because it's all about the crumb, about the crumb. Earphones, that's what I need. Earphones. <laughs> so yeah, Chrome. What have we been doing with it? We've been taking some of our normal things that we do and then remaking them with Chrome. Jazzing just, them up. Exactly, just to get that extra luxury feel to takes the designs. It, takes it to another level. It really does. Exactly. I mean, yeah. the thing is, as well, is that we can do simple stuff or we can do complicated stuff. Whatever, um, that solid shine that we get from yeah. the chrome balloons really makes a difference. It's also making a difference to our customer because one of the things with anything new, we're obviously impressed with it because it's new in the industry. But the real gauge is how our customers react to that. And yeah, go, the, res the response. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So what, they, are they going to buy more balloons? Which is what we want. Are they going to give? Are they going to choose us? because we have that unique selling point Absolutely. and being different from our competitors. So one of the designs that we've done for a long time is our little poodle. Yes. And we do a poodle on a, like a wristband. A so we've upgraded that one. We have one here and we've got this one in a gold flower base with our wristband on there and then the mauve poodle. Lovely little design we've done for many years, always gets a good reaction. It's a cute little thing we can do with, as an addition for giveaways and things. Um, or twisters can do them all day anyway, but we do them um, as add-ins to designs that um, people can have as part of party gifts. We also do them as um, little giveaways at times when we've got a party in a group in buying balloons, having a conversation. And if we've got little children with them as well, if we can keep them occupied a little bit, keep the parents happy, we tend to find that that spend level goes up somewhat. Exactly. So. And then also keep the kids off our displays. Yeah. But, so uh, that's one. Yeah, we've got another one. Um, from last month's episode where we had the princess headband. Which was awesome. It was. It was a really nice thing by um, Andre. Yes, Andre. Um, so, I don't think I'm terrible with names. I'm yeah. waiting for him to say because I don't it was, it was Andre. Don't look at Check me. The Check the calendar. Check the calendar. Well, it was. It was Andre anyway. Um, Van right. Zanten, I believe his name was. Um, so what we did was we changed it up because we'd done, Dom had made Cinderella, I'd yep. done Belle, Andre had done, which one did he do on there? Oh, it was like a Sophia the First, it was a purple one. That's right. Yes. So what we've done as well is that we've brought it um, to Tiana um, from the Princess and the Frog. So we've, it's, we've upgraded it to the Chrome. Yeah. I mean, you know that? same design, if you haven't seen it already... Check back on the channel, look at the tutorial. We've got step by step on there. Exactly. Um, follow it along, make it. We've just upgraded it to the chrome colours and it looks absolutely stunning. It is, it's absolutely stunning as well. And it Even does the give that touch here thing. with the extra bit of chrome on the top of the hair just adds such a. It's a beautiful design. We like that one. What else have we got done? Well, our woven rose design, which we've done and do because it is a, a, a customer favourite. This one has been upgraded, not only with a chrome, but it's been upgraded to be double stuffed. Double stuffed. With the dual 260Qs. Ruby red over the silver, and then emerald, emerald green, green over the silver. silver as well. So we use a balloon straw to put the silver inside the 260Q dual tone. Um, and it's double stuffed much the same way as any other balloon. You need to make sure that you line them up um, to make sure they'll fully inflate, but it's no harder to work with than the dual tone. Beautiful finish. You just got to be a bear in mind as well when you're working with the dual tone. The um, it's like when you're working with diamond clear, which is a yeah. dual tone. They're a little bit. It wants to stick to itself yeah. a little bit more. So it is that. So quite often you'll find you want to separate the balloons a little bit when you want to move them. Whereas a, a normal balloon, any of the solid colours, the fashion tones, or even the chrome, will slide nicely against themselves. Whereas as Keith said, the dual tone. You just might want to lift it to separate this. That's why you get that uh, creakiness. Creakiness that just yeah. sticks to itself a bit. But I think the look is worth the extra bit of effort um, working with that dual tone over the top of it, um, especially for something like this. So that's what we've been doing with the uh, chrome. We'd love to see what you've been doing with the chrome. Yeah, really would. So, um, for those that have been seeing Chrome advertised, um, you might have seen a couple of pictures that we did um, of things that we made with Chrome. Well, I think a couple of them were featured on the Qualitex.com website and also may have been in the Balloon Magic. It was, it was in the Balloon Ma Magic magazine, yeah, which was cool. Exactly. It was the first time we've been in it. So, yay! And funny enough, that was the first time we ever got to touch Chrome. 
Yes. That was, we were given some to have a go of, and that was the very first things we made. So a few people have been asking about um, how to make the Space Blaster. Because we call it Space Blaster. We don't call it a gun because we try not to make anything with balloons that go bang. Go so bang. Anyway, I think so I'm singing. Let's have the um, our balloons. I'm going to do this in the silver and blue as it was featured in the magazine, and Dom's going to do gold and the purple. It's like a New Orleans thing, Dom. It is. Yeah, yeah. This is the. Um... So we're going to we're going to go nice. through a step by step and have it quickly. So um, what we're going to do first of all is just tie the two balloons together. So it's going to be interesting in this small space. Well, I'll apologise now for just hitting the microphone. So if anyone hears that dramatic loud noise, yeah, exactly. And I'll so just adding I'll, a bit of atmosphere to the. I'll apologise in advance for hitting Dom because it always happens. It guarantees in the eye, in the eye or the ear. So this bit here in the in the ear, yeah. always. Okay, Some so see this on purpose. That's something. No, me. no, it's just a coincidence. It's pure fluke. So we're going to make a, a pinch twist on the blue. Or on one colour and then another pinch twist on the other colour. So that it gives us a double pinch twist on the end. And then we have one larger than the other. This one in the blue, in my case, is larger than the other. Yours is the gold. I'm just trying to keep mine down out of the way just so we can see one clearly. But there we go, pinch twist. It. There we go. Two pinch twists. Um, and then we start with the long one. The long one's the blue one of mine. So we leave a small handle and we do a twist. Then we do a loop twist, which or a full twist, which is big enough for the balloon to go through. So we do a loop twist. Then we do a small bubble, followed by another loop twist, followed by another bubble, followed by our last loop twist. So we have this going on. Then from there, we bring our other balloon into action. This goes through the first loop, through the second loop, and through the third loop, and we pull it tight. And we actually pull it further than we need to, because we're going to do the front part of the space blaster here. So we create a small, sorry, a decent sized bubble, and we create two of those. It's about the width of my hand. And then we create a third one, which we do a barrel roll through. So the barrel roll through is the third one there, and we pull it all the way through the middle. Then from there, we do a couple of pinch twists to finish this off. So one and two. Straighten that back up at the front. Pull the handle back. I do my micro, micro pinch twist. Micro pinch twist. Because I didn't have quite as much balloon left at the end. So that's why I love this design. It is so adaptable. Pull that back. And we have our... What you can also do as well as some people to make it less look like a rifle is we're just going to stretch that out and we're going to put a little bit of air into the tip. So that it has that. Good tip. There we go. Thanks. You're welcome. That's your Space Blaster. Now we're going to share with you one of, well, our go-to, the thing we were going to always make. It was also featured in the magazine. This is true. But we were always going to make this. As soon as we heard about Chrome, this was the design we were going to make. Obviously. Yeah. Because we're boys. This is true. But a sword. Now, in the past, we'd always be asked for swords. And you'd be cautious with the metallic colours because boys yes. being boys, yeah, the, they're the, going to play with it. Exactly. And we know that the the, the metallic colours are a little bit more fragile um, and uh, slightly harder to twist as well. So. In the hands of a you know a five-year-old, yeah. it doesn't stand up to too much. But the chrome... Dun, dun, dun. Look at that. Now we're talking. Exactly. I mean, that looks like a sword. It does. Yeah. It really does. And the, the reaction from children who had these from us so far has been phenomenal. And of course we can deluxe this up by putting extra colours on here and here and here, jewels in the hilts and things, we can do that So far. many options with a But sword. this is a two balloon sword. Nice and simple, not too complicated, but using the two colours at their very best. 
Um, just a, a great, robust, perfect sword for any budding exactly. mate. <laughs> Exactly. exactly. Love it. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to quickly show you just, I think we know how to do this part, the blade. Um, I think but most people will be good with that. We're going to show how to do the, the hilt part as well, the handle. So I have my gold chrome, and what I'm going to do is start with a few pinch twists. So we do small pinch twist, followed by another pinch twist, followed by one more pinch twist. I have 11 pinch twists in there. 11 pinch twists. So if you didn't know how to do pinch twists before this, it's by the end of it, you know, know how to do 11 of them. So we have now the end part of our guard. Then we decide how long the handle we want to do, but this one's going to be a smaller sword. So I'm leaving the small handle. And then, guess what? We're going to add in a pinch twist. So we add a pinch twist in here. Let's see these two guys here. Yeah. And then we're going to do one more. We're going to try and get these to be roughly the same size, as close as we can, so that we have our two pinch twists like this. Here. You see where we're going? Now we're going to come off with the cross guard. So I'll do a small section here. And then I'm just squeezing this through so it makes it a bit softer. And then um, doing three pinch twists again. If you wanted to add a dual. Um, on here, you would do just the two pinch twists. One and two. So it'd be here, and then we would add a different color on there, which would add the jewel. But because we're just doing this as a two balloon sword, I'm adding a third pinch twist. So a lovely way of adding that little bit of extra detail, and also for those twisters out there who, who do collect the scraps and reuse them, perfect place to reuse them. So we're going to come back down on the opposite side, come around those pinch twists again. Back down here. And then we're going to do the other side of the cross guard. So I'm just give it a bit of a squeeze to make it a little bit softer, easier to work with. And one, one, two, three, two, and a third one. So we have our three pinch twists again. And then all I've got to do is bring this back into the center. So it's a little bit too much air in this one, so I'm just going to take the end off. So I can let the air out a little bit and then bring it back to the center and twist it in. Also like Keith's done there, he's took the end of the balloon off to release some air out of that because there was too much air. You can do it the other way as well. So if you finally get to the end of the model, there's not quite enough air in but you still have some balloon. Just cut open the end of the balloon, use a little hand pump. Sometimes it's easy with a 160Q pocket pump but the nozzle fits better into the standard part of the balloon. Just add a little bit of air in, retie it, and continue on making the model. Good tip, that. So this is the handle. So you can see I put the pinch twist for the sitting under, so it automatically makes this come up like this. And then, inflated part, taking that in, put it in nice and tight, and wrap it into the double pinch twists in the center. Pinch twists are great for change of direction, adding stability, hiding the little mechanics. If you haven't done much twisting before, pinch twist if you go to, if in doubt, put a pinch twist in. Exactly. So these sit like this, and then all I'm doing is opening the two sides of the hilt so that the sword sits in a little bit neater. And then we turn it around like that, so we have our two swords. So, next episode is coming up on the 30th of this month. Ooh, we're excited. And you know what? We want to get personal. It is. It's time to get personal. Or at least time to get personalised. Ah. Because we're doing a personalisation special. What? A Q-Corner special? A Q-Corner special where in almost the entire episode will be devoted to one subject, which will be personalisation. Wow. We'll be touching on personalising with um, glue and glitter. Yep. And we'll also be doing the vinyl. vinyl. So the sticky back vinyl to go into balloons using uh, a variety of machines we're going to talk about. Yeah. Um, but specifically some different designs, design ideas. We're also going to make some files available. Um, so that if you wanted to... We're giving stuff away as well. We are. We're giving stuff away. We've got to make some files available. So if you wanted to, you could follow along um, with the program. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, 
you can watch it back and follow it through. Yep, recreate what we've done, but it'd be personalization on latex, personalization on foil, and personalization on bubbles. So do not miss it. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be on Wednesday, the 30th of May. We'll see you there. Not forget, no, they can talk to us while we're live. Ask any questions. Yeah. That's a good idea. If you have any questions beforehand, anything that you're having problems with, please send them in. Yep. If you send them in through the Facebook uh, channel, yep. um, Mr. Q's, Q's page, yep. Facebook page, if you send a message through there for the Attention to Q corner, we'll get it so that you have a question beforehand. If you very want to, best, very best answers. ask the question on the night. See you there. Bye for now. <laughs>